This is an overview of the recursive graphics assignment. And so in this assignment, there are two parts. The first is to implement a program that draws the famous Sierpinski triangle. Uh, and it's a uh, recursive graphic. And here, let me run it. I've got my program here. Um, and you can run it for different uh, levels of recursion. So if I run it for something like uh, command line argument of two, I get a, a simple Sierpinski triangle here. We've got uh, a downward pointed uh, triangle here and then one, uh, it's calling itself recursively three times, uh, once here, once here, and once here. And so that was at a level of two. And if I crank it up to three and run it again, all right, now each of those triangles and each of the sub triangles now also have a um, you know green, blue, and a red triangle as well and you can keep cranking it up and run it with seven and you get a very beautiful uh, be beautiful graphic. So your task is to implement uh, the Sierpinski triangle using recursion and what you need to do is implement the public API as specified in the assignment. You'll be implementing a filled triangle method and all this does is draw a, uh, a downward or basically an equilateral triangle with X and Y being the bottom vertex and S being the side length. So recall that an equilateral triangle is a triangle where all the sides have the same length. Sierpinski will be the recursive method in your assignment and it takes uh, a level N which denotes how you know what level it's currently working on and then the X and Y bottom vertex in the current side length and then your main program will call Ser Serpinski uh, based on the command line arguments. You must implement the uh, you know the methods as specified here so you should just need three three methods in your Serpinski class and here are some examples you can check and see. Um, in my the program I just ran I, I colored it you know differently just for fun uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want. You can use or you can color however you like as long as we can see uh, the contrast between the background and the, the triangles you're drawing. You may need to do a little review of your geometry. There's not that much geometry involved here, but uh, here's a little uh, reminder of some of the calculations uh, that, that you might need. Uh, all the triangles right there have the same length on every side. You should not modify the standard draw drawing window in any way, so don't set canvas size or set the X scale or the Y scale or anything like that. Um, and since the standard draw window is a uh, square, you're not going to be able to completely fill. So when I run this, right, my triangle only goes part way to the top, and it can't go all the way to the top and be an equilateral triangle. So it's aligned on the bottom, so this is 0, 0, and um, 1.0, 0, 0.0, but this isn't um, up at y equals 1 because it couldn't be. It's a small amount of code that makes Serpinski run right, but it needs to be the right amount of code, and be careful how you do your calculations. Typical problems people run into is they, they kind of make their calculations on the assumption that you know, you know they're working on this left one, um, but then it doesn't apply when the recursions work on the right. So trying to think in general, uh, given the parameters to your method, how do you calculate these three points? So somebody's going to call you. You know, the original caller Serpinski might be with this this um, one half zero with a certain side length, and then it needs to call itself recursively. So you're going to need to calculate what the bottom point of this triangle and this triangle and this triangle are and you want to do it in such a way that it, it works in general and it's just not specific to say that particular uh, particular part of the recurs recursion. That's the first part. Part two is to write your own recursive graphics program called ART. It takes a single uh, command line argument. It's an integer between 1 and 7. And then you need to use recursion in some way to draw an interesting geometri geometric pattern. Um, it's no fair doing something really simple like um, like we've shown you in lecture, like H-tree or something that's just um, 
purely derivative of Sierpinski. We're looking for something a little uh, more creative. It's supposed to be fun, uh, so try and have some fun with it. I'll show you. I'll show you my art program I did for this. So I've got. Uh, let's see what I've got it set at. Okay, I'm running at n equals five, and what I have are little circles, and inside each circle there are going to be five subcircles. And they randomly colored and kind of randomly located. So you're you're free to use randomness, but you must use recursion in some uh, interesting way, like I've done in this program. All right. And if you're looking for ideas, one thing you could check out would be uh, there's a link on the assignment page to Princeton's uh, Fall 2010 class. They have some examples posted of various things their students did, uh, and so any of these would be. Uh, you know, interesting forms of using recursion uh, to draw art. If you use any graphics, like some of these obviously are using leafs and stuff like that, then please submit any of the graphics required to run your run your solution when you uh, submit your art program. And it should only take one command line argument. And if you need to do something like set up some different values, you know, to make it look nice for different values of n, then you're free to do that. Just you can use some kind of format like this and uh, use the the command line argument to set the various parameters you need to make your art look pretty for different values of n.